Swamp buggy racing is just very unique sport. It's just the, the craziest thing I've ever seen. I got hooked. There's something with the smell of swamp water and racing fuel mixed that just gets to you, man. Once I hit the track, that was all it took. One lap and I was hooked. Not everybody does it because it's a great deal of work and a great deal of money. Hi, I'm Bobby Williams. I am a swamp buggy driver and I also write songs. I was born here and a swamp buggy's been in my blood all my life. It started out being a, a hobby and now it's turned into be a job. We basically rebuilt the engine. I poured a lot of money into it. We've gone over that buggy from, from the front to the back. To try to get parts for these things is, other than components for an engine, something that you can buy at the local auto parts store, just forget about the whole idea. You know, my, my real competition out there is gonna be, you know, Reese Gardner, uh, Tyler, my son, Dan Greenland, Eddie Chesser, but, I really think I, I've got something for them. I think I'll bag them all this year. We'll see. Today's another day. Once we got up on the top end, we were pretty fast. Won't happen again. I made a couple adjustments to the suspension, right. went back out, and then I uh, broke a valve. So I'm done for today. Swamp buggy and working, that's all we got. You have to have a very forgiving family. Uh, my kids make sacrifices. Uh, it's just me and my two daughters, and uh, they support me. I enjoy fishing, camping, and going out on the water, and this. This is my only bad habit, which we call my hobby. Well, good out there. If you want to drive a swamp buggy, get all your puking done before you get out there to drive on the track, because I'm going to tell you right now, your nerves are up to here. The danger to this sport is rolling the buggy over in, you know, 18 inches of water or three feet of water, and, you know, having to hold your breath for a long time. You know, it's a big difference if you're ahead or behind. Uh, you know, driving out there is real easy when you're in front, but when you get behind somebody and they're, they're putting a whole lot of water in your face, mud and whatever else might hit you out there, uh, it gets a little tough sometimes.
you gotta fight the urge to lift your foot. Going into that turn. 